Good afternoon. Good afternoon. And welcome to St. Jane Francis Station in Town Parish. We especially welcome any guests and visitors who are joining us in prayer today on this 30th Sunday in Ordinary Time. And we ask that you keep in mind the special intentions for which this Mass is offered, including the parishioners, and for deceased members, friends, and relatives of our parish family, including Gabriel Durante, Pauline Gronowski, and Carol Cordy. Please stand and let us begin our celebration. Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, in the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with all of you. As we prepare to celebrate the sacred liturgy, we are mindful of God's love for us and the same love he calls us to share with each other. Lord, you were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, you call all people to yourself. Christ, have mercy. And Lord, you are our hope and our salvation. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, peace to people, people of, goodwill. of goodwill. We praise you. We bless you. We adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father, Amen. <clears throat> Almighty and ever living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity. Make us love what you command so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. Thus says the Lord, You shall not molest or oppress an alien. For you were once aliens yourselves in the land of Egypt. You shall not wrong any widow or orphan. If ever you wrong them and they cry out to me, I will surely hear their cry. My wrath will flare up and I will kill you with the sword. Then your own wives will be widows and your children orphans. If you lend money to one of your poor neighbors among my people, you shall not act like an extortioner toward him by demanding interest from him. If you take your neighbor's cloak as a pledge, you shall return it to him before sunset, for this cloak of his is the only covering he has for his body. What else has he to sleep in? If he cries out to me, I will hear him, for I am compassionate. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, you know what sort of people we were among you for your sake, and you became imitators of us and of the Lord, receiving the word with great affliction, with joy from the Holy Spirit, so that you became a model for all believers in Macedonia and Achaia. Far from you the word of the Lord has sounded forth, not only in Macedonia and Achaia, but out in every place your faith in God has gone forth, so that we have nothing, no need to say anything. For they themselves openly declare among us what sort of redemption we had among you, and how you turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God and to await his Son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, Jesus, who delivers us from the coming wrath. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sanhedrins, they gathered together and one of them, a scholar of the law, tested him by asking, Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to them, You should love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. The second is like it. You should love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend upon these two commandments. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I got a, <clears throat> a call from a friend of mine from Shrine Little Flower where, where I first started out as a priest uh, 30, 34 years ago. And we are sharing some memories of our friendship. And one memory that we, we still laugh at today. I had been invited over to this couple's home for dinner and we sat down at the table and John the father said to one of the children would you like to lead us in grace before meal and the child looked at his dad and said when did we start saying grace before meals I didn't have to say a word. I didn't have to say a word, but we, we think about that and re relive that experience often. We've all heard the expression, if you have to ask the question, you better be able to deal with the answer. If you have to ask the question, you should be able, you should be able to deal with the answer. 
Matthew's profession comes out in not only tonight's reading, but last week's, and will indeed come out in next week's Gospel reading. We know that, Ma that Matthew was a tax collector. So he has to ask questions. In today's Gospel, the Sadducees asked Jesus, which is the greatest of the commandments? And Jesus says, love the Lord your God with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your heart, and your neighbor as yourself. If you have to ask the question, you better deal with the answer. But it's the second question that indeed baffles us sometimes. Who is our neighbor? I know both my neighbors on both sides of me at the house. But who is our neighbor? Certainly those two families on each side of me are my neighbors, the one across the street. But our neighbors are those people who may be in need of something that we can give them. I think of last week, and I thank the 41 people who gave blood last week. You don't know who it's going to, but they are our neighbors. They are our neighbors. As we celebrate this Eucharist, as we celebrate this day, Matthew will continue to challenge us in the Gospel. He will continue to ask us those challenging questions. Just love the Lord your God and to love your neighbor as yourself. As we celebrate this Eucharist, as we celebrate this day, the Lord will again feed us, He will nourish us, and He will send us forth to be neighbor to those we meet this week. And may we indeed take to them the message of Jesus, His compassion, His love, and His forgiveness. May we always remember, we have to ask the question, we better be able to deal with the answer. In one voice we profess our one faith. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty. Maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God, God from, from God, God, light from light, true God from true God. Begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We place our needs and our petitions, and indeed our thanksgivings, in the hands of loving Father. For Pope Francis, that he will continue to have the wisdom and courage to call attention to the evils in our world. Let us pray to the Lord. For the world, that we will have the insight and courage to recognize and bear witness to our failures as we seek to heal the fractures in our world. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who are growing weary of the pandemic restrictions, that we stay strong and persevere out of love for our neighbor, let us pray to the Lord. For immigrants, 
widows, orphans, the poor, the oppressed, and the victims of discrimination, that through your love we will recognize them as our neighbor under your protection and therefore entitled to our love and care. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord your prayer. For all those touched by cancer and other debilitating illnesses, that God will heal their pain, ease their fear, and fill their hearts with peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. With thanksgiving for your many blessings, we bring to the altar the intentions of this Mass, those in our prayer box, and those in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. Gracious and loving God, you know our hearts and our prayers long before we voice them. In your love and in your mercy, may they be granted through you, we ask all of this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, that you might see and love in us what you see and love in Christ. And so with all the angels, we praise you in joyful celebration, we acclaim. indeed, Holy Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you in need of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. Jesus Christ. The mystery of faith. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Alan, our Bishop, and all those who serve and minister to your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. In all of thine, your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her husband, the Blessed Apostle, St. Jane Francis and all your saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always freed from <clears throat> sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said, Your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not at our sin, but in the faith of your church. In grace he grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. As we prepare to receive the Eucharist, I will lead those who are watching live stream in an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Behold, I'm of God. Behold, him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Gracious and loving God, you have called us to the one table, to partake of the one bread and the one cup, so as to become the one body of Christ the Church. May we become the mysteries we've celebrated. We ask all of this through Christ our Lord. Next Saturday, it will be the last Saturday of the month, there will be divine mercy prayers said after Mass in the Father Page Activity Center. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve. Thanks be to God. Mm -hmm.